The Bluffton Seafood Festival continues all week long with activities. This past weekend, there was one an activity here on Hilton Head Island that yeah, made you need some of those uh, wipies for your fingers. Yeah, the Rock and Ribs Festival was something else. How's it going? I'm Joe Keith with WHHI TV, and today we're at Caligny Plaza at the Rock and Ribs Festival. And we're going to interview Caitlin Lee, one of the event coordinators. We're also going to interview Alan Perry. He's running for mayor of Hilton Head. And we're also going to interview one or two of the vendors. Stay tuned. How's it going? Today we're at the Rock and Ribs Festival, and I'm joined with Caitlin Lee, one of the event coordinators. Caitlin, tell us about the festival and, you know, what makes y'all stand out in the, you know, mess of all of the crescendo events on Hilton Head. Yeah, so we're so excited to have Rock and Ribs here in Caligny. Um, we, three years ago, wanted to do an event that was a little bit different for Hilton Head. We wanted to offer high-end food with amazing entertainment. We're so excited to have Grammy Award-winning Blues Traveler here on Hilton Head. Uh, we haven't had a performing artist this big in about 10 years. We're so happy to offer this to the Crescendo Festival and have them be a part of this. Um, you know, anytime we get 600 Hilton Head Islanders together and visitors, it's always a good time on Hilton Head. And we had beautiful fall weather today. Uh, we couldn't have asked for a better day. 80 degrees, sun shining. Uh, we're steps away from the beach. We're just so happy to be here. And barbecue, how could we go wrong? Yeah. And tell us about Blues Traveler. I'm sure you had to go through a bunch of hoops to get them. You want to share like a little bit of that process, how y'all were able to rope in such a big um, you know, performer. Absolutely. So we just made an investment in our community. Um, we really wanted to bring um, a big act to Hilton Head, and we're so grateful for our sponsors and our ticket holders, and especially to Caligny for um, investing in our community and making sure that we could have this great event. And this is also a fundraising event. Y'all are fundraising for Volunteers of Medicine. Yes. Right, and so tell us a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so we wanted to ensure that um, while we were bringing all these people to Hilton Head, that we would give back to our community as well. So we've actually started a new fund uh, through the Carl Ruiz Foundation. Carl was a chef who really believed in education, and he knew that educating people in the culinary arts can bring them out of poverty. So we have started a fund here at the Community Foundation of the Low Country to give scholarships to the Technical College of the Low Country and any other student who's pursuing a hospitality education. And Volunteers and medicine takes such good care of every Hilton Head Islander regardless of their ability to pay. So we wanted to ensure that we give back to our community and gave them donations as well. Awesome. And this is the first annual. Yeah. Is it too early to ask about like plans for next year? Do you have plans for next year already? We have plans for next year. We're keeping them a little bit under our caps, but we'll ensure you guys will be the first to know what's going on next year. And yes, uh, while this is the first annual event, we've been planning this event for three years and had to push the date back three times because of COVID. So we're so grateful to be here today. Yeah, and this looks like it's been a great event so far today. And so, Caitlin, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're so happy to have you here. And thank you for everybody who came and supported our event. And now I'm joined with Brent from Calabogie Catering. You're the owner. Tell us about, yep. you know, what you brought to the event today for sure. everybody to eat. Uh, we brought um, pork belly banh mi, uh, basically a bao bun, um, steam bun today. And it's got a little bit of sriracha mayonnaise, uh, cilantro, uh, some pickled daikon and, and uh, carrot. And um, so a small sandwich bite right here. That's what we brought for the Rockin' Ribs event today. Yeah, and how has this event gone for you so far? Oh, it's been great. We're looking forward. I uh, just had Cranford Hollow come out, and we got Bruce, Blues Traveler coming on right now soon. So we've had a great time and a good turnout. Yeah, Blues Traveler, that's a big, uh, you know, big performer. Are you excited to see them? It's been a fantastic draw, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've been a fan for years and years. Okay, and what else, do you, where do y'all cater for? Y'all cater for all different types of events, I would assume. Tell us a little yeah, bit about that. We're a catering company located out of Bluffton, South Carolina. So, you know, we cater all throughout the low country, and we do a low country cuisine. So anything about my style, from barbecue to oysters and fish, you know, anything low country cuisine. So that's what we specialize. And where can people find you? Find us right in Bluffton, South Carolina. Hey, we're on Red Cedar Street. Just look us up on Google. Uh, Calabogie Catering. We're easy to find. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. Enjoy. Great.
And now I'm joined with Alan Perry. He is running for mayor of Hilton Head. And yep. Alan, it's nice to see you. Hey, nice to see you. Thanks for having me. And so tell us, you know, a little bit about your campaign. Well, so, um, yeah, I grew up here on Hilton Head. And I tell you what, Hilton Head is just the most beautiful place. And, and you know, having been here for 50 years, you know, I've, I've always been outside and enjoyed. Actually, we used to, my parents used to have a business in Caligny where we're at today. So, you know, when, when we talk about being ingrained in the community, our family is and my wife and I are as well. Okay, and what are you out here doing at the Rock and Ribs Festival? So I tell you what, I, I have not had as many good ribs and good barbecue as I've had today. It has been absolutely phenomenal. When, just a great day. Awesome, and nice to meet you, Alan. Hey, it's great to meet you, and thanks for having me. Thank you. And that's the Rock and Ribs Festival. Great music and great food. I am very excited for it next year. Let's send it back to the desk. When we come back, an update on high school football. Big showdown this past weekend. Another one coming up this week. Justin Jarrett will have more in a moment.